Have you ever heard a woman say something like, she has no problems getting a man? Yeah, me too. Put that for aside just a moment, because I want to ask this question. Do women choose men? I can recall having a discussion with a woman on Instagram where she claimed that she had no trouble ever getting a man. Now, getting a man to fuck her? Okay, I'll give her that. Getting a man to care about her, however, let alone the man she wants to be doing it? I highly doubt it. I have a few reasons for that though. But before I get into that, because you know I want to, I have something I want you to listen to. In episode five of The Black Phillips Show, Patrice O'Neill takes a caller by the name of Nathan. As always, I implore you to not only listen to the entire episode, but to listen to the entire 12 episode series of The Black Phillips Show. Right now, I wanna play you a clip from that episode from the conversation with Nathan. I'll let you listen, and then I'll continue. And I'm saying to you, Nathan, knowing what I know, that women cannot, they don't have the ability to progressively and proactively get themselves a man other than stand there with their titties out. That is so And their pussy wrong. smell on their index that finger. That is so wrong. <laughs> and waiting. You don't know how to go up to a guy and go, hey, how you doing? You looking really nice. You're gonna get you did that in the third. You go, hey, big boy. You can go up to a guy and go, hey, big boy, you want to suck on these monsters? <laughs> In this day and age, women make a lot of claims in an effort to appear strong. To do this, they copy what men say and do. Why? Because we're the archetype of strength and power. Among these said claims is the claim that they have no issue getting a man ever, or that they're out in search of a certain type of man. Women do not get themselves a man. Being able to find a man who will put his dick in you isn't a skill or a reflection of that woman and her character. A large portion of men will have sex with just about any woman if given the opportunity. Women do not have the skills to convince a man to be with her in any respect aside from implying the possibility of sex. I don't say this because it should be some other way. My point is that as a man, you need to be able to not only see through these claims, but play your own strengths to your own advantage. Women cannot and do not want to have to charm their way into the life of a man that they want. Said differently, most women do not want to have to put forth the effort to find out what the man that she wants, wants from her. For most women, the only move they have is the implication on the possibility of sex. Let's be clear, being slutty isn't a skill. Women do not go out and get a man. At best, she can go out and make herself available to the man that she wants so that he comes and gets her. They do not hunt down and chase their prey. They sit and wait for it to stroll by so that they can grab it and never let go. For women, it's not our bodies that they want. It's our life. Follow me for a moment. I'll tell you exactly what I mean. Our life is what we are bartering as men in the relationship game. Women give their body, but only for a moment. It's the same body that she will have given to any other man she has sex with. You cannot give your life as easily as you can give your body for a moment. And anyone who does will quickly find that that life is either no longer theirs or is lost. Simply upon the momentum of the implication of possible sex, women navigate the sexual marketplace and hope to stumble upon the one that is for them. To the point, as men, what we barter with in the sexual marketplace is not our body. That's not the valuable thing we have. So we tend to give our body freely. What we barter is the implied promise of a place in our life, a lifestyle at the very least. In the larger case, our life itself in her service, the willingness to give our life for her if the situation arises. 
to work for her well-being and care about what happens to her. The idea of being with one of us and that value that that brings is what we barter. This is your life and that's what's at stake. Knowing this and leveraging it to your advantage is not only in your best interest, but is imperative for you to comprehend. This is your life. That is what we barter. That is what women find valuable in us. A place in our life. Not just any life though. I will not imply that simply having a penis and being alive is sufficient. Not at all. In this case, the devil is most certainly in the details. Here it is, epiphany. Women cannot actively decide what so relationship true. they're gonna be in. You women sit around and waiting. fucking wait. Waiting. No. So yeah. she's you are you telling me you think she's gonna go? She goes, Nathan, I think we should go and wait. In conclusion, women do not go and get a man. They can go and get dick. But they don't want dick the same way we want pussy. We are not equal. We are different. And knowing this will make all the difference for you. What it takes for a woman to be considered sexy is many things. But I can guarantee you this. The slutty form of sexy is the easiest to convey and most widely applied. What sexy is, is more than simply being slutty especially for a man who's not itching for a crumb of pussy. Know your worth and be valuable. That way, you don't need to settle for scraps.